What's up guys, Athena Soldiers here, and I'm rocking some COD Ghosts, and I'm gonna explain what actually came out along with the DLC was an update that everyone got. Of course, the update was free, uh, full of hot fixes and those types of things. So this is what we got. Number one, Heavy Duty actually got replaced. Uh, I'm not surprised the game mode itself was okay, it's average, no one really played it. Uh, I think it's one of the smallest played game modes. You know, it's one of those games that just, you did it once because you were bored, but you wouldn't do it again. Uh, so they got rid of it, they replaced it with Gun Game, a much more popular game mode. Doing very well right now, there's like 20,000 people playing it on 360, so all good. Much better than Heavy Duty, I think Heavy Duty's highest number was like 5,000. Uh, then it went straight down to like the 100, so good choice there. Way to go, guys. They also added uh, Hunted free-for-all, so you basically run around trying to get the like, care package. Just same as Hunted, uh, but it's free-for-all. I never like Hunted, and I'm not a big free-for-all fan, so not for me, but it's all good. What can you do? And uh, they did add Heavy Duty health options to the private match setting so if you want to have like a juggernaut type health uh, without being juggernaut you can do that it's in private match now uh, have fun with it I don't know what you guys will create I'm sure you'll think of something crazy rock it out they also added esports rules uh, basically clan versus clan uh, everything except friendly fire uh, which is pretty cool good for them proud of that you know that's good for clan versus clan I don't do a lot of clan versus clan I'm not into clan so it is what it is uh, here's something I was actually pretty excited about they changed the IED damage they adjusted a little bit now here's what it, essentially what's happening. If you are okay, if you want to take less damage from an IED now, I don't know if they increased it or if they just made it so where you are in, I guess, y you know, comparison to where the IED is or how it's placed is comparing how it's how many times it's gonna kill you or hit you, right? This is gonna change the hit marker ratio uh, from hit to kills, which should be good, good for us, good for all us IED players. That's me. I like IED. Uh, I love that shit. It's my favorite one for search destroy and search to rescue. So. Uh, if you are, if there is one below you, like let's say it's down on the steps or something like that, apparently jumping over it, it's going to give you a damage reduction. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just reading from what they said. Uh, jumping over it gives you a damage reduction. Sweet. And if it's above you, laying down will give you a damage reduction. So basically, if you're trying to survive uh, and there's one below you, try to jump over it or get above it. I guess it's height explosion isn't as much as it's actual, just it's more of an oval lower shape. And if it's above you, uh, drop straight down. I guess it's almost like a grenade in the sense that it, shrapnel will go up and out like a big exploded thing. But the lower you are to the ground, the better and safer you are. You know what I mean? You're 100% safe, but you're safer. And so that's their concept. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm glad they switched these things up and do those types of cool things. There's also new multiplayer lobby music. Woohoo, guys! Woohoo! And for you Southpaw uh, users, there's a new stick layout for you guys. Sweetness. They also added five new prestige ranks to Extinction, which is pretty damn sweet. I'm glad they did that. I actually want to get into Extinction on this one now. I did. I played a little bit, but I want to play this new map a lot more. Looks, looks cool. <laughs> Literally, it's frozen. Uh, they also added customization uh, for player appearances, like create soldiers and you know switching out patches, backgrounds, those types of things into Extinction, which is good. So now you don't have to go all the way back out to come all the way back in. Sweetness. It's good stuff. Now, what they did for the weapons and different sort of balancing, right? All right, so here's what we got. They added a slight view kick, so basically the kick, it looks like it's going to kick a little bit more on the AK-12, that's okay, not a big deal. They adjusted the reload times on the L-1115 and the USR, I don't know if they increased it or decreased it, I'll find out for you guys. Uh, here's something that's interesting though, the MSBS used to have a certain amount of length before you could pull the trigger again and it would shoot, right? It wasn't an instant, it wasn't like the Type 95 where you could just keep shooting it and it was constantly shooting. Now it kind of is like the Type 95, they reduced the uh, cooldown of its sort of hold off on the burst fire there. So now it's a much more faster, increase the fire rate exponentially. I mean, even if it's like a second less, you get at least two more bullets out each, uh, you know, within a minute each time. So it's actually pretty crazy, all in all. So I'm excited for that. MSBS is a lot stronger now than it used to be, which is a little bit odd to me. Uh, just because they increased it, I don't know the exact mathematics behind it of how many more bullets and damage you'll do per minute or second. I'm just assuming that now that you can pull a trigger faster, it'll shoot faster with less of a cooldown, you're going to pull out more bullets, you're going to pull out more damage, you're going to be better close range, and so you're going to start that close quarters combat, and you miss that first shot, and you're like, oh no, you're pulling the trigger, but it's too late, don't worry guys, they, they decreased it, so now you can pull the trigger again, and it will not be too late, good for you, good for all your MSBS players, I don't actually like the gun, but that's okay, I rocked it anyway, uh, I just don't like it that much, and I don't intend to use it that often, now, here's what's interesting, Dead Silence and Amplify, they sort of switched up. Dead Silence is completely silent, including equipment, sliding, footsteps, uh, all that is completely silent. Amplify users can still hear a scaled down version of these sounds, uh, but not all of it. Basically, you're going to hear footsteps and sliding sounds. So if your knee slide, you're, just so you know, if you rock 
that damn dead silence in your knee slide, there's a possibility someone with the Amplify is going to maybe hear a mouse skid on the ground. And they might know that it's you and you're coming. Uh, so that's just a warning for you guys, just so you know. And in case you're, if you're wondering why you're not hearing as much with the Amplify on, it's because dead silence actually makes you a lot more quiet now. Uh, you'll just hear a slight footstep, which will probably be overrun by background music and those types of things, and bullets flying everywhere around you. So dead silence, you're almost perfectly silent now. Good for you guys. I don't actually use either of those perks, but if I did, hey, it's all good. So I was just bringing you some of the smaller things uh, that they brought into the game here. They also brought in a few anti-cheat things, so that way you can't use as many. They're a way to share reticules and different weapons to share and camos to friends if they hadn't unlocked yet. They stopped that. Good for them. At least they're trying to keep up with the game. We love you all, guys. I hope you liked the little update I gave you. And I'm out of here, guys. I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome, awesome people. Uh, keep it up, guys. We love you. Dina's Army. I'm out of here. Peace.